I thought I'd share with you guys how I give Sparky the super worms. Uh, I have these little cups. I'm not sure where on earth I got them. I think that I've probably got them at a restaurant where they put the uh, salad dressing in them. And I've, I've probably bought some or they've given me some. So I just tilt this in front of Sparky. Not enough to let the worm out, but enough that Sparky can get the worm. And you want the worm not to be all the way down into the edge like it is right now because they can't get to it. It has to be starting to move forward. Um, kind of like that. Where it's not right at the very <clears throat> base. Uh, it needs to be where they can get their beak on it. I'm going to tilt this in front of Sparky and that way he can go in whoops there it goes he lost it you want to have your tongs ready so you can grab the super worm so it doesn't I'm get to try this again and try to be prepared for the super worm to go running tongs ready see you want your tongs ready so that especially <clears throat> with a handicapped turtle because they have a harder time uh, to be able to uh, manage the worms they get away easier when you only have the one claw front claw I know this is not good that I should um, uh, Sparky has seemed to be really really hungry he seems to really get hungry in April uh, more so than the winter months and so this is an in-between you know like I have been waiting every other day but um, he just seemed like he could have a little snack today so I thought well I'll just um, give him a few of these super worms uh, and um, show you guys how I use these little cups to feed it because otherwise they're really hard to hold on to them with the tweezers and try to keep the tweezers out of the way of the turtle's beak you don't want to hurt the turtle's beak with uh, having the tweezers um, to um, too close to the beak and risk them biting down on the um, tweezers.